Hello everybody. Um, first of all, I think I speak for a lot of people when I say JBrain, your videos are awesome and they are helping me out a lot, especially. Uh, I got a little kind of new to PHP, I've uh, been picking it up. Um, and so far I love it and I really love your tutorial so keep up the good work. So. Um, the reason I'm making this video is to show you guys an autoloader file, I mean, excuse me, class that I built, and uh, it it's it's really awesome. It, it you um, when you create a website such as this one, uh, your views oftentimes require a lot of external JavaScript and CSS. Some of them are shared between the views, and the other ones are um, are unique to specific views, depending on uh, what you're doing, I guess. And uh, it can get annoying having to write out uh, the referencing the external files all the time to your um, to your views relevant to your views. So what I built, I built a class here that. Uh, does all that for you automatically. And it's called the autoload class and you can download it at my website. And uh, I'm going to show you how to use it. It's really easy to use. So here I have the um, here I have the MVC NetBeans project that he made. And uh, in the, the libs folder or directory you're going to want to uh, drop in the autoload PHP. And uh, this auto, this particular auto load does all the auto loading for you, including the SQL, uh, excuse me, SPL auto load register. Uh, you can comment that out if if you don't want to use it. Uh, so if you look at my uh, index PHP file here, I uh, I still have his, but I can actually delete it and just uh, require uh, the auto load, and it'll it'll pretty much do this for you. Um, but you don't need to do that. So, uh, but to use the auto load portion that I built, there's a couple things that you want to do. Is you want to create a public folder, and in this folder, or excuse me, directory, you're gonna put in your CSS uh, files, your JavaScript files in each, and you can put them in their own directories if you want. And you can create a directory within those directories, and it'll traverse those for you. Um, so you can organize your code. Here I put here I put these right here. I put a couple of custom Java, JavaScript files in the JavaScript uh, directory. Um, and this public one will be shared throughout all the views. And uh, and then within the views themselves, in their directories, you can uh, put in a you can put in a folder that says that's called auto and it will look for that folder in each view directory and it will include any any JavaScript files, CSS files that are in there and again you can you can uh, organize those in their own directories and it'll traverse those as well so let me show you how to implement this uh, this new class here so once you've in, once you've placed it in the libraries or libs as he put it, go ahead and go to your view. Uh, I'm sorry, not view, but your header. That was in the view. Sorry, in the view, and you're going to uh, you're going to in, initiate the class. I think I'm not saying that right, but anyway, you're gonna you're gonna include the class there, and uh, I put it in as Al. You can for auto load, but you can name it whatever you want. All right. So once you that that way, that way it's available to any view that you load. So once you do that, go ahead and go to the header, and uh, we're going to we're going to use the method load public. This particular method here uh, loads the public all your public stuff. As you can see, I, I took away some of the some of the external references. You can even this one I kept, but you can even uh, delete a couple other references that you put. Uh, go ahead and put that there, 
and then in this one this one is the one that checks for the auto folder that's going to be in the views this one you're going to have to pass the controller name which is uh, which is stored in the folder I mean excuse me in the variable name and uh, that's pretty much it so let me show you how this works here so in this in this public one I have this JavaScript file I'm going to go ahead and open the custom one and I'm going to uh, type in an alert here in the that and refresh this guy over here and uh, once it does oh there it is it works great so uh, let me go ahead and uh, now and, and again notice I didn't have to as a matter of fact here let me just show you how this works I'm going to delete that and uh, refresh this to make sure it doesn't cause the alert anymore and I'm going to type in put in a new JavaScript file Oops. and I say test2 and then again I'm just going to do uh, jQuery here and then I'm going to do an alert here and the same thing, I'm going to type in it, it works too. And notice I didn't have to uh, include it or um, reference it in any of the views. I'm going to refreshing, it works too, and I'm going to go into the help view. And it works too, as you can see, it's being included in all the views for me automatically. I'm going to go into the login view, perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to comment that out because I don't want to keep using that. Okay, so now we're going to make one that is unique to our index view. So I'm going to go ahead and type, put in the new folder called auto. Remember, that's what it looks for, auto. And you can go in and change it if you want to. It doesn't have to be called auto. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and um, leave it auto by default. And then in auto, I'm going to go ahead and make another folder and then this one I'm going to call it JavaScript and then once again new file the JavaScript file and then I'm going to call this one the index JavaScript file and then I'm going to well, let me just let me just copy the uh, this guy here, so I have to keep it. and then uncomment this guy save it and then I'll just put number three or five in there so you can see and then so let's maybe refresh it here it didn't work oh because it's an in index yeah <laughs> there it is so let me go back to the login and it doesn't do it because now this particular file is unique to the index view again I go to the index and it works too and it does uh, CSS files as well so let me let me put in a new uh, folder here and we'll call this one CSS and then a uh, new CSS file cascading slash it and then I'll call I'll just call this one um, index CSS okay so let me um, let me change a color in the index view uh, we'll do the paragraph we'll change the color of the paragraph Oops. What? what happened here? Sorry, I'm new to uh, Jake. Oh, there we go. I'm new to NetBeans, but NetBeans is awesome. Thank you for introducing that to me, by the way. So, uh, let's... Uh, what is this? Okay, so let me go to my index.css, and it's... Did I... Is that the right one? So, okay, so let's do paragraph and then we'll change the color to red. Oops. Okay, save it, see what happens. Refresh. It works to five and 
yep, as you can see, it changed the color to red and it works too. So again, you can download this file at my website and there should be a link in the comment by the comment section or the uh, description area. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this.